All right, guys. Another blower. This time, backpack Troy built, 25 cc. Uh, pretty simple little. This I call these a kid's backpack because they're about as big for a child to carry. Simple one here. Guy hadn't run it. It was a guy who had the PB 200. He hadn't run it in a bunch of years. That gas tank was full of varnish. You can see. That's the rag I used to clean it off inside the tank. It was filthy. This fuel line, which is the one that was on the uh, fuel filter, hard as a rock. You know, the wrong lines were used. The fuel filter, look at that, it's all trashed. So I just, all I did, basically, I cleaned everything up. The line coming from the purge bulb back to the uh, tank was in good shape and uh, nice and soft, so I kept that there. I used some Echo fuel line um, going from the gas tank up. I got my stash of uh, fuel lines, fuel filters. I keep all different lines, all different filters. Um, so I picked out some Echo line, I cut it up, I put it in, and it uh, took me probably 15 minutes altogether. The cap was really messed up. You could see the duckbill valve in the cap. There's usually a ceramic piece right here um, that blocks off fuel flow if it ever comes out of the duckbill. That was missing, but the duckbill is still working. So I took that out full of varnish, cleaned that off. Let's see how she runs. Usually these rotary type carburetors are a pain in the butt, the rotary valve carburetors, but this one, the primer bulb wasn't cracked. I did not, here's a tip for you guys, a good tip. If you're ever working on one of these, before you do anything, don't press this primer bulb. You could have old varnished fuel in the old lines, and if you push that bulb, before you clean it out and put fresh fuel and lines and filter in, you could suck crap up into that carb, it'll never work. Do not press this bulb until all new lines are in and all new fuel is in the tank. This way, it's sucking up fresh fuel, you won't contaminate your diaphragms or anything, and it should run just like this one. All I had to do was put the new lines on it. Again, can fuel, the true fuel for it to one, threw that in there, it's working great. So a couple tips for you guys. Usually these machines, it's just fuel lines, sometimes it's primer bulbs and diaphragms, but most of the time it's just fuel filter fuel lines. They get all gunked up, turn to junk, Replace those, refresh all the lines, refresh the fuel with all fresh, then prime the system or put the purge through. Don't do it when there's old lines connected. You could suck crap into the carburetor. So always refresh everything, put fuel in, put lines in, put everything in before you use that primer bulb. Okay guys, that's the tip for today. Hopefully you guys can uh, take advantage of it, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, if you guys wanna see anything else, let me know. People are dropping off stuff every day, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully we get some good content coming up. All right, guys, that's it for now. Talk to you soon.